What's going on everybody, Diddy here, and I'm bringing you some regular Team Slayer on Select, and I've sped up the gameplay about 17%, because this is this was like a 12 minute game, I think it, it no, it, do, it doesn't go to the time, but it, it gets pretty close, it's a pretty long gameplay, um, and I'm not going to expect you guys to watch 12 minutes of me playing Halo, uh, if you want to see that, you know, hey, let me know, and I'll, I'll be glad to upload some of those long games, but I sped it up just a little bit, and yeah, I just shot that rocket out of midair, that's how I roll, so... <laughs> um, what I want to talk about in this commentary is uh, something that um, I don't know. M Vito just put out a video on Halo Zone, and it's actually it got me thinking about um, Halo versus Call of Duty and how the communities have differed and have gone back and forth of which one's being the top and um, in the in the community. And you know, it just got me thinking about just different ways of how the two games are different. So. What I want to talk about in this commentary is a defensive playstyle versus an offensive playstyle. And this will be part one. I've got a second gameplay, the, the game that I played actually right before this game that you're watching right now. And that is a super defensive game, and I'll talk about that when I get there. And um, so before I get into the meat of it, this gameplay is going to be a little bit slow for the first uh, two minutes, two and a half minutes. Because uh, I am trying to go for perfection because I knew these kids were going to be um, not MLG pros and I could probably get a pretty good streak on them. I end up getting a running riot, but, you know, unfortunate things happen and I actually don't get the perfection. But the um, better thing about this gameplay is that I get 42 out of the 50 kills. That's right, 42. I get as many kills as the other team combined. And I have never seen a higher scoring game in a regular Team Slayer. Um in Halo in my history of watching YouTube videos so um, if you know of one that that'd be awesome let me know I really want to watch that but 42 kills out of 50 against four people um, I still think that's kind of impressive and did you see that that guy was who used camo I just sniped him in the face because he didn't move pro tip if you use the camo you should move but pro tip o over that don't use camo just use sprint <laughs> anyways so, uh, where was I? Hmm. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the offensive playstyle versus defensive playstyle. Um, like I said, but when I'm trying to get a perfection, right? So I want to play a defensive um, role in the game. But once I die, I'm just like, whatever, fuck it. I'm just going to go out and just murder everybody. And um, yeah, one of my teammates does quit out. And so it is three on four. So there are technically more kills to be had throughout my team. But getting 42, I think, is still pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, as the defensive versus offensive playstyle, I mean, they definitely have their pros and cons. One of the um, unforgivable sins of online um, multiplayer gaming uh, is camping, and so, and that's what a lot of people hate, uh, especially YouTubers, like. Their, their subscribers, they don't want to see campy gameplay, which is one of the reasons why um, Wings of Redemption is not one of the top tier, well I guess he is a top tier YouTuber, but he's not, he's not, you know, number one, he's not a Hutch or C-Nanners, um, because, because he's, he uses a defensive play style, and most people, they don't want to see that, because it's not really exciting gameplay, and so that brings me to my first point about the offensive gameplay is that it is a lot more entertaining to watch and being a YouTuber you know it's and look at this, look at that lag I would have been so mad if he killed me right there <laughs> but uh oh well end of the spree at least I got the riot but offensive game style it is a little bit more entertaining to watch when you go out and just destroy kids and especially if you're in like a Call of Duty game and you go 42 and 1 or something and it's just that's that's fun to watch because that one guy is using so much destruction upon the other team and so it's going to be entertaining to watch it's not like it's like watching um a soccer or a football game uh versus watching a chess game right because chess is so boring to watch but playing is actually kind of fun it's strategic and everything it's not going to be back and forth like that but you know it is a it is a fun game to play and so it is a and that's what defense look this guy again he's just standing there and I'm gonna find you if you're using the camo <laughs> but 
it is, it's just a different play style. So they definitely have their pros and cons. If you play a defensive style, one, it's not going to be entertaining to watch. Two, it's you're not going to get a lot of kills. I mean, you're not going to get as many kills as somebody who's running around the map destroying everybody. Um, when, when I talk about this, I'm, I'm thinking Call of Duty, but it could also be applied to Halo for sure, definitely, because... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna tell you a story. <laughs> when I was uh, one time in college, we were playing Halo. When Halo Reach first came out in the dorm, um, we were playing three-person split screen on this tiny, tiny 17-inch screen in my friend's dorm room. And um, there was a there was a guy camping the top green lift in Sword Base with a shotgun, and he killed me four times in a row. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get him this time. And I pop up. I stick him with the sticky grenade, he shotguns me in the face, and then goes into armor lock, and I never get the kill. So what do I do out of rage? I punch the nearest chair and scar up my hand pretty bad. But, cause that's, cause that's, that's not defensive, that is camping. That is gonna, that I'm gonna say that that's camping. If you're camping in one corner, not moving at all, camping. Defensive playstyle is a little bit different, as you'll see in the next game coming up. It's holding down a position of the map, um, so that the other, so that the other team can't, get a hold of that power position so um i'm just kind of all over the place in this commentary if, if i am i apologize but the offensive um the the pros to a defensive play style is that you're not dying as much right and that's still important in a slayer game um especially if you're not dying in halo specifically if you're not dying you're not giving the other people kills so like if you lose, if your team loses the game, um, but you only have three deaths, uh, if you have, okay, so say you're playing a 4v4 Halo game, right? The, the top guy on your team goes um, 12 and 15, right? And he has the most kills on your team, but you go like 7 and 2, which is, you know, in my opinion, a pretty good KD, but you weren't moving around, you didn't get as many kills. Even though you lost, your team didn't lose because of you, they lost because of the guy running around and dying 15 times in a row. So, that is that is one um, pro uh, of playing a defensive playstyle, is that you're not giving the other team points. And so I can kind of understand that playstyle in a, in a game. And that's what that's what I was saying earlier. Wings of Redemption does that style of gameplay, and so, you know, I I I kind of I think Wings of Redemption is a pretty cool guy. He's not he's not the best YouTube commentator, but I enjoy his videos, and I don't understand why he gets a lot of hate the way he does because of his playstyle. It's it's a valid playstyle. It's he doesn't camp. He plays a more defensive playstyle. So, um, and me, I'm the total opposite. I like to run around and kill a lot of people. And you know, if you've seen my um. I don't know which video is the best um, indication. I get a little teabag right there in the middle of a DMR fight. But but I like to run around and kill a lot of people. I hate slow-paced games. I think I like to keep myself on my toes. I like to, you know, run around, kill as many people as I can. Um, even though some of the games last as long as this one did. It's just, you know, I'm never sitting in a corner staring at a wall or staring down an alley for more than 10 seconds at a time. If I'm stationary for more than five seconds, it's either because I want my shields to recharge or I'm trying to return a flag or something. And, you know, I just, I can't, I can't stand playing slow, but I understand the play style. And, um, but look at the, oh no, it's not right here. Yeah, look at that. I, I could have had that triple. I'm, I'm convinced I could have had that triple if, only if he wasn't looking at me. <laughs> but... Yeah, so this is going to be, this has been part one of my offensive versus defensive um, video series. I think there's only going to be two videos, but if you want. And look at this. I run over here because my teammate died. If he was one shot, that would have been an overkill. <sighs> oh, well. But that's, this has been part one of offensive versus defensive playstyle. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll have the second video up shortly. There's a double kill for the win. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.